As we talked about on the rip saw, we only needed about 5 thousandths of set on each tooth. This saw is a lot flatter than the rip saw was. There's barely any set at all on these teeth. This is a Dunlop saw set. I kind of like this style. The ones with the pliers, I don't have so much luck with. Everybody has a different style that they like. The Dunlop, you set the number of teeth on the cam by loosening up this screw, and then there's numbers stamped into the little disc. If you look at the picture here, you'll be able to see that. Those numbers are a good guess. That's not always accurate. You still want to go by the five thousandths of set. We want to look at the teeth and make sure that we're on the tooth that we filed the point away. We don't want to set the wrong tooth, otherwise we'll push the outer edge in towards the inside. We lose all of our cutting ability. So we set our tooth. We squeeze the plier just a little bit. It doesn't take a lot. And there we go. First two teeth are set. They're looking good. If we start back here in the back, if we make any mistakes, you very seldom cut back in this part. So it's always best to start at the back side of the saw blade and get your rhythm going before you get into the teeth that really are doing all the work out here in the middle. You don't have to squeeze real hard. If you're white knuckling it, you're going too much. every other tooth. If you get lost, stop. Take the saw set off, look at the teeth, make sure you're back in the rhythm that you want to be in, and start again. This is your saw. You go as fast as you want. But making mistakes quickly is never an improvement over just doing it right the first time. Doesn't take long, and it's not hard work. If you're working hard at it, you're doing it wrong. Make sure that the plunger is dead on center on the tooth. After 15 or 20 saws, you might want to go faster, but I don't recommend it. The saw set provides its own support, so you can work right out here on the unsupported end of the saw blade and not have any problems. Get out to the last tooth on the end. One end of the saw set isn't supported as well, so you have to kind of eyeball it. Like I said, out there on the end, doesn't much matter. You don't cut that much on the very beginning of the saw blade out of that thin little tip.
Same process. Start at the back. Eyeball which one you've got. Make sure you get on the right tooth. Squeeze the handles and away we go. Once you've done the first side, the second side's a little easier to see because you've already put set on the first set of teeth. When there's no set on the saw blade, it's easy to get confused. That's why you want to check it. Sharp and set. Ready to put on the handle. Because they are sharp and we don't want to cut ourselves or damage the teeth either one. Just fold the tape over. Ready to go. That's how you sharpen a saw blade.